So here we are at DubboxUSA.com and we've built a new page called Build Your Dubbox and it has a couple of cost calculators, one for campers and the other for food and event trailers. And uh, we just put some general copy up here and right below that you will see we have in what's known as an accordion, we have a Dubbox camper cost calculator. And as people make selections to this you will see that down here the total cost increases as people make selections. We've got just a base calculator here right now with just showing um, the information that we got off the models page and we didn't know what the prices were so we just labeled everything as a thousand dollars. Very easy to go in and change that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. This video I just wanted to go over this and show you exactly what we've done here. So as you scroll further down though you see a link for Dubbox food and event trailers. This is an interface known as an accordion and when people press this it replaces the information on the Dubbox campers with the Dubbox food and event trailers information which will have different selections and of course as you see a different base price. The only thing that's automatically selected when people open the form is the base price. They can deselect that. Um, there isn't a way for us to stop that from deselecting that as a matter of fact. So they can deselect that if they wanted to. So if, for instance, they were just wanting to deselect that and they just wanted to purchase a stovetop, they would be able to do that. But because the base price of the camper is, generally speaking, always required in an order, we went ahead and included that as already checked um, in both um, in both calculators. So um, both calculators are just uh, exact copies of each other right now with um, the base price changed. So, But these are both independent uh, cost calculators, so they can each have different, they can each have different options different prices for those options, um, and all of that will be reflected out here out front. It's all done through a point-and-click interface. So um, one thing that this system doesn't do with its, its base plug-in is allow you to collect that information from that form and for people to add some added information such as their name and email address and stuff, and then email, and then by clicking a button, button having that email, um, uh, that form automatically email to somebody in your uh, in your organization. But um, the professional version of the plugin already does have that already built into it in a nice point and click interface so that you'll even be able to go in and, and change that. It's very, very simple. Um, the cost to upgrade is a flat one time $50 fee for the plugin. So it's not like there's a yearly fee, nothing like that at all. You pay that uh, flat one time $50 fee and you get updates for the lifetime of the plugin and the plugin is good. As I said, it's just a simple one time fee. Don't have to pay that again. And um, we can go ahead and, and add that on to the price of the bill. Um, but we haven't, we didn't know if you guys wanted that particular, if you guys wanted that particular piece of functionality or not, if you were just looking for the price calculator. So if you're not looking for that particular piece of functionality, if you're just wanting the price calculator so people will be able to check and see what it's going to cost and then maybe have some contact information down here so they can contact you directly, not a problem. We can do that and then you will not need to purchase uh, the the upgrade to the plugin. So um, anyway, uh, back here in the, the back end, um, the underneath settings, you can go to calculated field forms, and this will show the two current forms we have in there. Um, very, very easy. When you click on settings, um, it will take you into the form, and it will show you the visual builder that will allow you to go ahead and alter and change that form. And I'm going to go over that in the next video.